Hey family, and welcome back, welcome back to our channel. And if you are new here, I'd like to welcome you to our family. And today's video is a highly requested tarot reading, although I'm going to be doing a totem reading. Same concept, only with your spirit animals. And everybody has a totem, different levels of spirit guides and things in your life. There are many different variations of totems, but we're going to be sticking to the Stephen D. Spirit Guides, which is your spirit animal deck. And this concept is very simple. I've done many of these readings on our channel before. All I need you to do is just truly, well, this is your reality, so you will believe what you wish, but my readings, I like to tell everybody that this reading was either meant for you or it wasn't. It's what you take from it. It doesn't matter if this video has 10 views, a million views, or 500 views. This was meant specifically for you if you clicked on this video. And what I need you to do is think of a situation in your life where not a yes or no question, but an answer to a question that's been bothering you. Something that could have been very stressful or something that you're just waiting for that you really just need some guidance with. This will always relate to you. So take a moment, pause this video and think. Just think as much as you want. Take as long as you need and come back. And in the meantime, I'm going to light a stick of incense and a candle. Both you will not see during the duration of today's video. A special thanks to Minx Laura123 for sending me this awesome incense and a little care package she sent for subscribing to her Patreon. So family, head over there one day and support her. She's going through a lot right now. But lighting an incense is a form of giving respect during a tarot reading or an oracle card reading. Any reading to higher guides, uh, showing a form of respect prior to actually asking them for help is definitely beneficial to a better reading as well. A spirit guide is more prone to listening if you're giving them the same respect as they're giving you at all times. My apologies, it was an airplane, but anyway. This is in the scent lavender. Go on with your lavender, if you know where that's from, but... Okay. Just keep that situation you're going to ask about in mind. I have one in mind for myself as well. Let's just light this in respect of our spirit guides today. Our animal guides. Animals are so precious. They're innocent and they do things by nature. They do things by instinct. We can take a lot from animals, which is why this reading is so special. I rarely use this deck. I've only ever used it once on my Patreon. And I took it very seriously. It was the only time I ever used it, and I'm doing the same for you today. I'm just going to be lighting a tiny candle to show my respects and respect for all of you. And then we'll begin. If you're all cozy in bed, that's even better. I don't need you to audibly voice your issue. When I just give you the go-ahead, I just want you to mentally or audibly tell the spirit guides what your question is about, okay? And I will do the same. I will do it mentally. A nice little woodwork candle. I love the sounds these make. And this is in the scent, Coastal Sunset. Don't worry, I'm not mixing two scents. I'll place that by so you can hear it in the background. And now, 
I'm just going to simply place a amethyst crystal Amethyst is a form of love and respect as well and what we're going to do is just bless bless this deck all right this woodwick is a little bit there we go okay let's continue I'm probably going to blow it out once we begin but I want to bless this deck today to all spirit guides that come into our family's reading for them today and for myself. Please bless this deck if you are listening to us and understand that this reading is specifically for each and every one of us clicking on today's video or each and every one of us who tune into this reading. This is meant for them in some way. With that being said, Thank you so much for giving us the divine attention we have asked for today. And here we go. Thank you to all spirit guides who come into our time of need at this time. Okay. I'm going to just move this elsewhere. So it can sound a little crispy in the background. And what I need you to do now, family, is in your mind, or audibly, please voice your question. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the cards out, shuffle them, and when one pops out to me with my intuition, I will pull it out, first representing your past of the situation, followed by another card that pops out, featuring your future of this situation, or present, excuse me, present tense of the situation, followed by the third card representing the future of the situation. And that's all. So I'm going to vis or mentally voice my concern today. Here is the book in the background, and that's going to help us give a little bit of insight into what the cards say. Each of these cards pulled today is a representation of your spirit animal. For example, on the bottom right now, which will be shuffled, the ladybug, and here we go. This is going to represent, again, the past of your situation. That is going to be the past. I'm going to set this, which will be on your right or your left to my right. Let's continue with the present tense of the situation. Okay, right on top. <laughs> well, I don't want you to see it yet, but the present of your situation. Okay, and ooh, fell out. Last but not least, the future. Right there. I feel it. Is it this one? Nope. Right on top. And again, the future. Okay. So let's just turn them over. This is the past of your situation, which is the chameleon. This is going to be your spirit animal. 
The chameleon represents to stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So in the past of the question or the situation or question you have asked about, what you have done in the chameleon's terms is you've stayed in the background and adapted to the situation rather than being open and trying to direct the course of events. In the future of this situation, you are represented by the dog to be your spirit animal, part of your totem. Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. In my opinion, I have received this card before in my private time, and I took it as I am serving too many people without worrying about myself. I want you to also know that no matter what is stated in the books, this is what you believe is working for you. For example, if you take this representation as something different, that is what it means for you. In the future of your situation asked about, you are representing the humpback whale. And music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So in the future, something to help your situation pass by, in my personal opinion, or what is asked in mine, is music can be healing. So let's look at a more in-depth representation of our spirit animals. So altogether, a chameleon, dog, and humpback whale is what is representing your totem at this time of clicking this video. I'm gonna move this, set it on top of the deck so you can hear it in the background. So we're going to start off with the past of your situation, which is the chameleon. After I am finished filming this video, I'm actually going to sit down and take what I may from the situation because right now I am focused on you. Let's see. So the associations of the chameleon, as said in the book, are agility, dream time, sensitivity, perception, intuition, psychic knowledge, shape-shifting, disguise, unobtrusiveness, detachment, camouflage, change, clairvoyance, or inquisitiveness. The chameleon states this isn't a call for you to be passive, but to wait and contain yourself until you know with certainty that it's time to step up and let your presence be known. When it's time to do so, move quickly with focus and certainty, but in the meantime, flow with the situation instead of trying to make something happen. And in my opinion, being your past tense situation, that's probably what you were doing, hiding in the background and letting things do its job. Whatever needs to occur is already in motion anyway, so go with it. Now. Let's focus on your present situation and move towards the dog. Oh, here it is. And now I'm going to move the candle to the other side. <laughs> okay. So the dog, your present situations, associations could mean protectiveness, faithfulness, loyalty, unconditional love, forgiveness, service, helpfulness, instinct, companionship, sensitivity, domesticity, playfulness, and guidance. Children may rightly look to their parents for this sort of guidance. However, as they mature, it's appropriate that the leash to their parents' authority stretches and is eventually severed. The human error is to continue to project this parental authority onto other people and institutions and then either subjugate, subjugate their will or act in opposition to that perceived authority. Over a number of years, you may find yourself attached to the leashes of many masters fragmented and, to some degree, powerless. Instead, 
take off all of those collars and let spirit be your one true master, then you will experience true freedom. I love this and you guys have no idea how this resonates with me right now. I'll keep it short, but recently I've been settling for too many people. I have not been worrying about my own self. I have just been following nothing but orders instead of caring about myself. I think it's time for you to do the same. Maybe in your situation, you just haven't been following your own path because you've been leashed by too many people like and not following yourself, things like that. So definitely consider that one because the future of the situation doesn't really give the future of guidance. It kind of gives the present situation as already changing into the future, if that makes sense, because the humpback whale representing music just, in my opinion, kind of stating music is very healing to me right now, which it is, so that's just what I personally take from it. But let's go ahead and check out the humpback whale and give you the summary of the reading. Honey. Humpback whale. The associations of the humpback whale include singing, breath work, which I speak about often in our videos, sound healing, sensitivity, alchemy, ancestral wisdom, creativity, inner depths, insight, healing, release, and guardianship. So, you can breach the inhibitions about expressing yourself musically that you have acquired over the years in some very simple and easy ways. Sing, chant, or play an instrument. Take a few lessons as a means to shore up your confidence. Let the magical child inside help you rediscover the joy of creating music. Dive in and play. I am so pleased. <laughs> The dog and the chameleon summed up the complete situation for myself, and I hope that it can do the same for you because usually the end of a reading, which could be any spirit animal, is another step into the future. Getting the dog as your present situation is basically summarizing something for me as a closing. So a situation I'm asking about the present tense of my situation is already accompanied by the future of my situation mixing together, not needing the third card. The third card, in my opinion, is just offering a piece of advice. So to summarize this, in my opinion for you, and take everything with a grain of salt and use your intuition with our spirit guides telling us what to do is, you have stayed in the background for so long you're tired, you're weary, and you're just not dealing with it. You want things to just always be okay. Sorry, Jet, but you never, ever, ever tell anybody no. You always submit to them everything else. And leading into the future of your situation from doing that for so long, you have been loyal to so many people who have not given you anything that you deserved, and you're tired of it. You are ready to unleash yourself and break yourself away from those chains you have been held against for so long, settling for so many people, and just never taking the time to be yourself. And then the third card leading into just a simple form of music therapy or listening to your favorite songs to help you because inside you already know that you're tired of this and you're ready to change. That is why getting this card is so important to me is because it shows that I'm already where I need to be right now. So for you, take it as what you will. Take the information I have given you technically what I have referred to you from the spirit guides above. And remember, at this time in your life, no matter if you click this video in three years or if you click this video in two weeks, your spirit guides at the moment are a chameleon, dog, and humpback whale. And that always changes. Deep down inside, you always have that type of animal inside you. Some claim they have a wolf wolverine or others claim they have a dog. I personally have feline tendencies. I'm very sociable only when I want to be. I'm very independent 
and I'm, I'm, I'm a bitch sometimes, but <laughs> with that being said, family, I am so grateful that, <laughs> so grateful that this reading went exactly how I thought it would go. That is why I believe this deck is so powerful. Um, I definitely recommend it. I just found it um, in a store and my husband gifted it to me as a present because they say with oracle and tarot readings and totem readings and things like that, in order to make sure that they're full readings, which I don't believe, is that they have to be gifted to you or purchased or adopted if you will, by somebody else, and then given to you as a gift so they remain pure. That is just something as a saying with spirit guides. It is something divine. Take it with a grain of salt and take it with your intuition. Your intuition is the number one thing that will help you with your spirit guides. Um, you can ask the archangels, you can ask the animals, you can ask the gods, anybody. It's anybody that you truly believe in. Um, recovery, as a recovering addict, having a spirit guide or somebody in your life that you feel powerful, a higher power, is one of the biggest things talked about in the 12-step program. Having your higher power and admitting that you have one and you are powerless to that higher power, it's a lot deeper than what I'm explaining, but basically... With spirit guides, it's the same concept. You just have to use your intuition to know to how to talk to them and when to talk to them. They are always watching over you, and that is the thing about the human experience. We will never know what goes on beyond this realm because we are too, our brains are too small to understand. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means it's too powerful for us to know until someday, so... With that being said, family, I love you with all of my person, and I hope this reading was exactly what you needed. I will talk to you soon. Bye.